And welcome back everybody. We are still in the room one in a surprisingly long video and I don't want to fight here. It's just pointless. Let's leave. Um surprisingly long video, because I kind of took my sweet time doing anything. But well. I'm kind of stuck here now, aren't I? I guess Meat Boy might help. Um, we just picked up Steven, which should help us with, uh, with dealing some damage, since that's really my main concern right now. I'm so underpowered. But, uh, almost more importantly, we can fly and try to avoid stuff, and we have the ability to really heal ourselves massively on pretty much anything. You know, we have Chad, we have Charm of the Vampire, and those two work in conjunction to really uh, add up, you know. Individually, they, they just provide a little bit of help, but two of those items together is a good way to stay alive, even if I get hit every now and then, so. Uh huh. Seems like we do more damage in this room. Probably because of the random effect of, of uh, Liberty Cap. Ah, they are Geminis. I, I don't really want to fight three monsters in a room, but uh, two Geminis should not be a problem. Oh, no. Especially not when the room is so open. I mean, much of the danger uh, from facing Gemini in the regular levels in, in basement um, comes from the rocks that usually lie about and inhibit your movement, you know. Of course, now that we're flying, that wouldn't even matter since we could simply fly over the rocks, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, this is pitiful now. Okay. Almost done. Come on, come on. Oh, no, not like that. Alright. And Chad once again helping us out. So I don't even have to backtrack to get that health. There's plenty of health lying about in, in the right side of the level, so... Should things go really south, we can always go back there and uh, make sure to pick that stuff up. But uh, right now I don't think that's necessary. I'm still debating with myself whether I want to use that sacrificial room. I might actually want to. And I just got hit in it. Horrible. Um, because that sacrificial room will probably just cost me one heart, like it would on the regular floors. But uh, the payoff could be really great in comparison. I think I'm playing a lot riskier and maybe even a bit uh, sloppily due to the ability to recharge on health, like so. Ah, that was stupid. So much for playing sloppy, right? I mean... Okay. So here's the boss. Fortunately, we still have to fight our way to the boss of the next floor before we can use the Bible. And I'm taking damage. Alright, uh, I might as well just hide here. Now, this is gonna take forever if I let my cube of meat destroy everything. Hmm. A good thing too is that I still have that bad trip pill, so if everything should really go south, I can always use that, but uh, hopefully I won't need to. Right. Um, let's see. Let's see what we get for using it once. A golden chest and uh, nothing I really need. Oh well. So I guess we are gonna quickly, quickly run back. Oh no, there's those monsters in the way, isn't there? Ah, never mind. We should be fine regardless. And now we fight death. Wow. Not an easy boss, to be sure. But uh, the reward will be a shooting meat boy, so that will be helpful, to be sure. 
Right, uh, stay away please. Just need to get him off his high horse. Ah, oh, that was stupid. Okay, I'm kind of messing this up, aren't I? Please stop. There we go. Alright. Now we can hopefully deal this. Do this properly. Oh god. Alright, the horse will take out some of these knights. So in that regard we should be okay. Hey, I think the horse destroying that, that knight actually healed me. Because probably the game does not register whether I'm the one killing them or the horse is. Not that I'm gonna complain about that. Can use all the health that I can get. Right, so much for death and his horse. I just need to take care of these little knighties. <laughs> Well... I think I, uh, I have to go back, you know, and uh, collect that health. Though I don't really want to. But uh, just two hearts and four empty heart containers, that would be such a waste. So I'm gonna pause the video and we'll be back shortly. And welcome back. I did gather up all the health I could, and we're almost back to full health now, so let's go down. Right, uh, there's a curse room here. I guess I might as well enter it. See what we get. Oh! Okay, I guess I can, uh, I can go directly down to Satan. Hmm, but I don't want that, you know? So remember, um... We wanted to go to the Cathedral this time around, so we already defeated Satan with Isaac. So, hmm, there's really no point in that. That's a bad spot. Alright. Uh huh. Now, where do I have to go? Let's, uh, let's go into the secret room, why not? A one up! Now we have both the ability to come back as a blue baby and uh, a simple extra life. And this is a bad spot, isn't it? Nah. I don't like you. Two of them is really crazy. like slugs, but high speed slugs. Disgusting. I, I, I think it's odd that they can even move that quickly. Look at that poison damage. I mean, it, it, it's surprisingly powerful, I must admit. And I got hit again. Horrible. I really should just skip the room, but now I've invested so much health and, and time already. I want to see them destroyed. Come on. Again. Horrible. Okay, well, let's use the full health pill. What a waste on such a stupid room, but uh just can't can't stop. Right. Now what happens? Uh, I guess we go to the top. I still haven't seen the actual uh, level layout, have I? Right. Need to get to one of those rooms where I can actually see the, the layout. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm on the wrong track. Let's leave. And I guess we will go to the arcade since I have no use for money anyway. Eh, first we're gonna go to this guy though. There we go. Give me something good, dude. Oh, a bomb isn't bad. That is bad though, I don't want that. I'm gonna pick it up just in case I didn't use it before. See, it's just one fart. 
and then it recharges, but still. Okay, I uh, don't want that, but we will use the other guy. I would appreciate picking up Skatole or something. Just in case we encounter any more flies, which there are always more of, usually. Come on, this is a really long run. We didn't even get that far yet. Pretty fly, well that's good, but we already have all the flies we can use. Lots of health. I guess I shouldn't have blown up that uh, blood bank after all. But uh, should we need to come back here for health, we know where to go. And I really just want to get rid of my money. That's my main purpose here. More health, more money. Kind of good to have such a health bank lying about. Can always come back here. Although I would like some soul hearts instead, if you have them. Yeah. And some keys, not bad. Uh, I guess we're gonna leave the leave the head guy alive. We might still get Skatole from him, possibly, at some later point in time. But uh, if not, then who cares? Alright, I don't deal too much damage, I think. But uh, I'm a real health powerhouse and, and lives powerhouse now. This should be interesting. Even if I fail, I still get some more chances now. Not just that one extra life, but also coming back as that baby. That's interesting. Right, but uh, defeating Mom's heart will be easy, thanks to the Bible. The only thing that could really be a problem is Cathedral itself. And of course Isaac himself, because I don't know how he will react to the Bible. Uh, a husk? Okay, well I don't want to fight you, I'm just gonna leave. And one giant gut, that shouldn't be a problem. Plus, if I remember correctly, you can't even bomb your way into the boss room anyway. Meaning that uh, I can't open the door now, even if I wanted to. Not that big guts are particularly dangerous anyway. Alright, here we go. Time for an anticlimactic fight, like so. And there's our path into Cathedral. Right, well, let's see what happens. Curse of Darkness, well that's that's just great. Um you have a bomb. No you idiot. Have a bomb, dude. Alright. Why is this guy so healthy? Don't even get a get a boss meter for him. That's that's annoying. There we go. Finally. Right. Guess we're gonna have to take this slow and uh, explore every room because I have no idea where I'm going. All right. Ow! That was stupid. And again. Well, at least uh, my shield of cube of meat and uh, flies blocks his shots, apparently. Uh, we are gonna blow that up. I have no interest in that. Instead we get half a heart and a coin. Uh, some hellish fire, which shouldn't be a problem if I am quick enough. Alright. And why is that door closed? I'm at full health, aren't I? Now it works. I think it had something to do with Liberty Cap, actually. Hmm. Do I want that even? I, I'm, I don't think so. Probably not. 
and I cannot fly out and from the looks of it from the door it looked like it was a regular turret room so that means three waves not just two if it were a boss room I might actually have uh, have taken the opportunity of course if, if it were a boss room I wouldn't have been able to go in there at full health so that's kind of moot right so uh, we're gonna really be careful and clean everything up since apparently since I mean I if if I knew where I was going I could simply bomb my way through the more difficult room like I was trying but uh, there's really no point in doing that when you might as well just have to run back the same way anyway since uh, it's just a dead end so in the end I guess Liberty Cap not working as intended because uh, it's a cursed cathedral not a regular one greed wow we fought you before haven't we you can have my money if you want to I don't really have much anyway can judgment the beggar actually spawn in the cathedral would be interesting to know ah, nickel now I got tons of money thanks greed A sacrificial room might as well use it once or twice never mind Ah, okay, that's good. That's actually really good. Steven lives. Yeah, I have Steven on my head currently. Go outside. Well, not right now. Alright, uh, where are we now? Oh, magician. Well, I might want that later on. How about some soul heart or something? Matchstick. Don't know what that does. I think I'm gonna stick with Liberty Cap. It can sometimes give me more damage on some some runes. I just keep getting these uh, these little messages. No messages. No no soul hearts or anything. That's kind of bad. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna leave it around for now and possibly come back for it. Should we get uh, enough money? Right, where are we going now? To the left, maybe. Nothing. Ah, oh, some gishes. Again, I, I'm I'm kind of confused by the uh, difficulty of the room. Some are really tough and some are surprisingly easy, like this room. Right, so Bible would be ready. Ah, oh, we're gonna blow that up. The Bible would be ready to use now. I might as well blow this one up. But uh, I don't know if I can actually use it against him, right? And we are at the boss now, okay. But we have two greaves in our way, and obviously we cannot bomb our way in there, which is a problem. And I took damage. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Wait, I think the greaves actually take damage from the turret. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Yeah, I can. That's good. Now one greed is gone and I think I can take care of the last one relatively safely. Really the problem with two greeds is just that they're two. One greed should not be a problem. And it's quite irritating that uh, the enemies still have health beyond their health meter. That's just confusing, you know. You think, when are you gonna die, please? Like now? No. How about now? Alright. And we get so much money. Magician or the hangman? Well, I can already fly, so there's no point in that. Um, you know what? I, I want to have the best chances available to me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backtrack, if I can remember the way, and uh, use that fortune telling machine until I'm out of money. I might get some more soul hearts from that after all, increasing my chance. To defeat him and should that not work I still have more lives to try it again so I'm cautiously optimistic about this if that makes sense 
another trinket. You know what? I, I really should look up what they what they do because uh, it might be a good idea to use one of them on the on the boss. So. Crystal skull. Don't want that. Thanks for explaining to me what that does, by the way, folks. Um, I guess as Isaac, it would make more sense to use, or as one of the other characters. As Blue Baby, it's just annoying as hell. Judgment. Well, maybe I, get, I can give the rest of my money to you, and I get a bomb for that. Okay. What's in here? Magician. Okay. And what's that? Well, the moon is to the secret room, isn't it? Ah, uh, that, that will teleport me somewhere, and I have no clue where I am afterwards, so... The Magician, the Moon... Two of Clubs, I'm gonna use that. Some more bombs, that's not bad. Oh, we can as well. Um, I guess first blow up the fortune telling machine, and then... Maybe if we get some money, use it on Judgment. You're lucky, you got three chances, dude. Oh, or none, okay. That works too. Alright, um, you know what? I am going to pause the video again and I'm going to quickly look up what these other trinkets do because I want to be well prepared for the boss fight. So, see you then folks. Bye! And welcome back. Shouldn't have taken more than a second for you. Now it looks like uh, the matchstick just increases the chance of getting bombs, while the goat hoof actually has a chance to increase the damage that your tears are doing. So I guess I'm gonna stick with uh, with the goat hoof. And we're gonna take the magician card and use that on the boss in conjunction with the goat hoof. Now, the Liberty Cap actually also has the chance to increase your damage, but uh, I think that's tied to the room. So, if the room uh, does not have that flag, like uh, become a big mushroom and increase damage, then I will not increase damage with it, while the Goat Hoof will actually randomly create more powerful tears. Okay, let's, let's try this. Isaac versus Isaac. There you go. Right, let's use the Magician card and uh, start firing. And first we're gonna use the Bible. Nope, does not work. Just like Satan. God damn it. Alright, let's try this. Well, the more you know, right? We still have our, ourselves alive, after all. So. Well, we can do this properly. Just gonna snipe at him from over here. And hopefully my shield can block any incoming fire. It seems to work so far. I need to get him down to one third, uh, two thirds before he changes shape for the first time. Well, thank you for this uh, protective shield, really. I'm kind of surprised how well that works. I don't even have to move so far, at least. Oh, there we go. Now I take damage. Right, I'm gonna have to be a bit more cautious after all. There we go, he upgrades. And now he has homing teeth. Let's try and get him down to one third next, where he sprouts wings and starts creating enemies. As last time, where I had blood, bloody lust, the creation of enemies might actually be to my advantage, since... Uh, Chum of the Vampire only works on killing enemies, so if I can use those created enemies to heal myself, should I need it, it would actually be useful. Now, so far it's going really well, I I'm surprised. Most of that is definitely due to my uh, my fly and... Uh, okay, there we go. Most of that is definitely due to my fly and, uh, and meat cube shield absorbing most of the damage, and that guy is a bit uh, crazy, isn't he? Right, oh, four angels! Okay, let's place a bomb, maybe we can take some of them out. Along with danger dam damaging Isaac, like so. So far, so good. Uh, another bomb will come in handy here. Alright, more iron cannon blasts, and now Isaac is poisoned. But I got hit. Well, I guess uh, that's not a bad way to go. Still have three hits. I hope I can make this. Uh, but it's kind of a cluster cluster mess right now. There you go. Uh, just gotta keep moving, I hope. 
Oh god. Thing is, if I get hit, I really want to be next to Isaac. Oh god, this is gonna be close. Oh god, this is so close. Horrible. Horrible! No, I don't want to die now. Please just die, Isaac. Ascend. Oh god, he spawns even more of his little angel buddies. Come on! No! Oh, horrible! So close! I just got three more hits. I think I'm gonna die now. Oh boy. Okay, let's try this again. Oh god. So close! So very close! And I get hit immediately. Uh, not looking good, folks. Not looking good. It would be kind of poetic if I defeated him now as Blue Baby, but... Uh, yeah, there we go. I'm almost dead already. No, oh, it's too bad. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Kind of reminds me of some earlier Satan runs where we got so close. But we did unlock a new secret and find some more items at least. Always gotta remain positive, don't you? So, uh, yeah, still not done with Isaac. The character Isaac. I guess we're gonna try again next episode and hopefully not die quite that close to the end. Oh. Alright, see you then folks. Bye!